cash flow killing. Time to kill some cash. Well, actually, we want to keep some cash, not kill it. But I got cash flow killers. This is going out to my my buddy, Ricky. Ricky wants to know, how do you balance time and work? Okay, Ken, we've talked about this several times already. The whole cats in the cradle and guitar. I know. We've talked about family life balance. But I looked at Ricky's question from a different angle. And the fact that I just literally published a course module with this exact topic. And the timing is perfect. So, Ricky, I got some good stuff for you right now. You want to know how do you increase your cash flow, but yet have time with your family? Watch this. So I just recorded a course module. Now this is for cleaning companies, but it applies to to everyone. I cited the book Dave Dave Ramsey, The Total Money Makeover, and before I started, before I started upsetting the apple cart, I shared a quote from Jim Rohn that. He was so. People asked him, "How you become so successful over this short six-month time period?" And Jim Rohn's answer was, "Well, there are things that I did that were easy to do. I did them over and over again. The problem is that they're easy not to do." Um, Jeff Olson references this quote in the book *The Slate Edge*. I believe Baron Hardy references this in the, um, *The Compound Effect*. Similar, similar thing. If you do the decisions over and over and over again, they'll compound in your direction, in your favor. If you do the th things, if you do the easy to do over and over again, it'll, it'll help you. If you do the easy not to do, it'll hurt you over the long while. You won't feel it that day. You decide not to do it, but the, but eventually it'll it'll nip and bite you, or nip and just wow, look at this amazing lifestyle. And the easy to do is do I do I cut back on my credit card? That's an easy thing to do, or an easy thing not to do. Do I downsize my car? Do I hold off on paying? Do I hold off on that kitchen remodel? There's, gosh, I identified 16 cash killers. And I don't have time to rehash all six, all 16 of them right now. I'll just say go to the book, Total Money Makeover. And I promise you, you can make a list out of that book of probably about, probably 16 things like me. If you do want to know what all 16 are, contact me outside of here. Um, I'll see if I can I can help you out. But here it is. If you can get your list, right? It's overwhelming. Like, oh my gosh, how do I make all these changes? Use the 80-20 rule. 20% of these items will win you back 80% of your cash flow. And what if you just found four or five items? What if you downsized your car? What if you switch your insurances and drop your coverages a little bit? I'm just picking random things off. What if you stopped eating out and getting Starbucks every day? What if you budgeted and disciplined and you didn't ha you didn't lose money to overdraft NSF fees what if you what if you got out of debt got rid of your credit cards and saved $222 a month from the national averages i mean it's, it's astounding what you could do but if you bring that money back watch this that's all profit extra profit ricky extra profit you're not doing any more work you're just getting more profit and what if you created on the average in your business right now $400 a day just a round number but you brought back a thousand dollars a month by applying the 80 20 rule you brought back a thousand dollars into your prop into your home through profit without doing any more work than you currently are that extra thousand dollars if you make four hundred dollars a day now that's the equivalent of two and a half days of work you could literally decide to stay home to get the thousand dollars back stay home an extra two and a half days a month and just devote it to your family if you do a half a day that's a half a day per week. That's almost like three quarters of a day extra per week that you could spend with your family. So when people say I don't have enough time, here's like the third reason why I think that's a load of BS. Go to Jim Rohn's. I love you guys. I love you guys. But we have to start making some tough decisions as dads.